Hey everybody, I'm Bill and I'm on the water here with Dave Bonner from Nautic Tech. Got a beautiful boat here, right? Lovely boat, yeah. We're on the Open 40, which is Nauti Tech's uh, smallest catamaran. Uh, Open 40 is a great combination of performance, which is what Nauti Tech is renowned for, as well as great creature comforts. The open, as it sort of indicates, is because it's somewhat of the layout, a nice open layout combination to take the inside out. Unique helm positions in the, in the cruising cat in this size range, uh, great sailing position, great visibility. The boat uh, performs wonderfully in light air in our part of the world, that's really important, as well as a boat that uh, will provide lots of room for your guests to enjoy the outside and more available in an owner's and, of course, a charter version, so three and a four cabin variants. Right. So, obviously, a 40 foot boat with a beam on this one? 22 and a bit. Okay, yeah. and what type of engines does this carry? This particular boat has Volvo engines available in uh, 20 or 30 horsepower configurations in the boat. Fantastic. Obviously, larger engines available in the Open 46, which is a larger sister ship to this boat, okay. and then the 46 fly. So, let's talk about the unique helm situation you have here because it really is kind of cool. You, it's like going back to a mono hull, you know, with a two wheel setup, right? Yeah, many people think of it as the sailor's position, if you will. Yeah. The advantage in this case is that we're trying always with a catamaran for power, that sort of power to weight combination. So we've got a boat that's you know built out of advanced materials, composites all the way through, all in fusion. And that leads to a light boat, a stiff boat, and a strong boat. It also allows us with this situation to have a nice low boom position, larger sail area. That's bringing the toms out to the sides of the boat, gives us a nice sight line as far as being able to see up the side of the boat, manage the boat very effectively from the rear of the boat. Everybody's in front of you on the boat. And of course, getting onto the dock is a spectacular position here. We're right beside the dock, either port or starboard. You know, as opposed to, you know, boats with mezzanine positions or fly positions have Absolutely. a little more different way of having to manage that. Absolutely. And if you're ready to make that jump from a mountain hall to a catamaran, this is probably... Right. A, pretty easy con a pretty easy transition, yeah. Okay. It's the kind of position you're used to. Awesome. So starting here in the cockpit, Dave, like beautiful, lot of spacious area. Large spacious area. There's several options available, of course, in the boat. This particular boat is equipped with a nice teak on the transom uh, all the way up through the cockpit area and a nice transition into the interior space. Mm -hmm. Lovely teak table, which is available outside. This can also be ordered in a convertible version that goes down into a, gotcha. a day berth. But again, great open space. Nice stacking doors that come out of the way still provide a nice light experience all the way through the boat from the inside to the outside, kind of a seamless transition. Absolutely. And then moving forward into the galley, nice spacious galley, a lot of electronics in here, right? Well, of course, typically, you know, with this boat, we've obviously got the, the galley, which has been recently renovated in this boat to now face aft to kind of be much more convivial. So when you're at the, at the stove, you're working with the people that you're, you're preparing right. for. Great layout. We've actually removed some cabinetry in this newer version, so it's nice and open, made the windows larger yet again in the boat. Uh, several options available on the lounge side, depending on the nature of uh, how you're looking to cruise. This is a convertible table that can go down low, can be converted into a berth can be a coffee table, can be a dining table for those days if you do want to stay inside. Awesome. As well, it's also a spot for your nav station for your inside. On the 46, there's several different options on the interior layout as far as the nav okay. station. That sounds good. So here we are in the beautiful owner suite, Dave. It's beautifully appointed. Yeah, lovely setup, obviously. Um, some, again, we're down in the owner's version hall. We still have nice large windows in each of the cabins. And of course, in the, in the other side of the boat, we're going to see them the same side in each stateroom. Nice bright open area, dimmable LED lights, opening hatches, good ventilation right through, and of course great storage inboard as well as outboard. Uh, as we move forward, uh, you're going to see a really nice dedicated shower area separate from the uh, basically the WC area of the boat. Sure. So it's really nice, nice layout for the owner side of the boat. And on the other side, we have two cabins as well. Yeah, two cabins sharing a single head, which is uh, quite a nice situation. It gives a little more dedicated room to the individual staterooms find them very comfortable. Clearly the, the aft stateroom is slightly uh, more commodious just because of the hull sure. form going forward, but still a really nice setup for the uh, comfort of your guests on board. Awesome. So let's talk about everything we have topside. The boom, right? Well, crucially, of course, with, again, as we mentioned earlier, in terms of the power to weight, we've got a very large sail area with this boat and a nice low center of gravity. One of the things that allows us to do that and also to make the boat nice and easy to manage is our very low boom height. By keeping our helms down low, we keep the boom nice and low. So if we're up on top of this really nice large working deck, 
the boom is essentially right at your knee, knee to waist level, my knee level, some people or waist level, some people's knee level. But right. nonetheless, in the, in the, with the lazy jacks and snow pack, very easy to manage the sail at a nice, working, safe, comfortable height. And more sail. And more sail. Yeah. Absolutely, that's fantastic. So moving forward, we're on a boat, we're in the Caribbean, we want to get some sun, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> lots, lots of available options. On the foredeck, just, just forward of the, the, the cabin top here, we've got a really nice lounge space set up. Of course, a nice spacious trampoline as well, but the lounge area is really nicely dedicated to set up for sunning, be able to kind of enjoy the water. Obviously, the ability to get on and off the boat in the back corner is nice and accessible, very easy boat to get on and off of to enjoy the, the water, which is part of the, all the reason why we're here. That's fantastic. So Dave, I really want to thank you for showing me this absolutely stunning boat. It's, the details are incredible. Yeah, great. Well-built, good performing boat. Uh, I think it's uh, any of the customers looking for a 40-foot catamaran, this one certainly deserves their consideration. Awesome. So if you're looking for more information on this boat, I'm going to put the link to Naughty Tech below. Just click on it and it'll take you right to the boat. Thanks right. for your time. All right, thanks Dave. For Dave, I'm Bill and we're on the water. If you want to see more of these videos, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, everybody.